Hello. Come here, buddy. Look at the camera. Look. At I got requested to do a video on my dog. And uh, this is Rocky. Full name, Rocky Mountain. And uh, I bought him from a breeder. He is 100% uh, a Rottweiler with a tail. Um, I was actually looking for a... The reason why I was looking for a Rottweiler, my dog before was a mix between a German Shepherd and a Rottweiler, and I rescued that dog, and it was really, truly the best dog I've ever owned. Um, sorry, Rox. You're the you're second best. You won't look at me. Um, so I was like, I want to have a... I, I backpack a lot, and I wanted a dog that could carry its own gear and also protect me out in the wilderness. And... Um, you're gonna lay down? There's a lot of sticks right there. Come on. Right here. Right here. Right here. There we go. And um, I wanted a dog that would protect me out there. Also a dog that's really strong. And, and I'll tell you stories of my last dog um, and, and what he did out in the wilderness when I was backpacking once. But um, really wanted, I really wanted the same mix. A mix between a German Shepherd and a Rottweiler. And I wanted to rescue again. Um, I was really into rescuing dogs. Still am. Um, however, when I went to go rescue a dog, they said, no cats, no kids. Um, no cats, no kids. And I had a cat at the time, and my cat has now passed away. But, um, so I, I went to another place. Was It's like, I think it's um, Rocky Mountain... Um, Rottweiler Rescue. I went there and they said they don't have any dogs that would be good with kids. So um, then I went, then I decided I was going to go to a breeder and, and buy Rocky. Now um, I checked a couple breeders, but I wanted someone local. I didn't want to fly a puppy out to Colorado. I'd just rather just um, drive over, pick him up. Um, found this guy on, online and, and uh, you know, he he had a bunch of, it wasn't a puppy mill, so I went and I checked it out, and he was legit, and um, Rocky was born over um, over near Colorado Springs, and I was able to go into the house and see the whole litter, and um, maybe I can show some videos of, of him later as a, as a puppy. He was so cute, he looked like a little bear. <laughs> um, you know, the girls would hold him and stuff, and so... Um, he was, uh, you know, and I and I had to tell him ahead of time that I didn't want him to cut off the tail. I just I don't agree with cutting tails off. I I think it's it's a, it's a form of communication for the dog, and um, I wanted to be able to know what my dog was thinking. And I'm really happy that I didn't cut off the tail. I have a video out there in one of my other channels, and I get a lot of criticism towards not cutting off his tail. But um, I kept his tail on. I like it. And when he's in a good mood, the tail's up. When he's in, when he's tired or lazy, his tail's down. You know, when he's scared, his tail looks different. And when he's on alert, it looks another way. And it's just, again, it's a way of communication. And I really, I really like it. So um, I bought him. And you know, I do have a little guilt for not rescuing a dog because I could have, could I could have got another dog. You know, at the rescue. I don't know. I, I, sometimes I have guilt, but, you know, I wouldn't trade him for the world. So um, I'm really happy that I have Rocky. Now, when I got him, or when I when I purchased him, I had to tell him that I wanted a, I wanted a male, and I wanted um, the tail on. So I didn't have a choice in, in the litter. And um, Rocky was aggressive. Um, he's, he's pretty aggressive. You know, when you lift up a puppy and they start growling, um, it means they're, they're kind of an aggressive dog. And, and when we took Rocky home for the first time, I lifted him up and he tried to bite me, like literally attack me as a puppy. Um, so there's been a lot of training with this boy to get him to where he's at. Um, he's good with kids. He's good with other dogs. Um, there's certain people, though, he just he doesn't like them. You know, um, it's more people than it is dogs. I, I feel totally 100% comfortable with him around dogs. But if there's a new person coming into like this camp right here, um, and we've had some neighbors come by and, and welcome us to the neighborhood. And um, I've had to tie him up because I think he would have attacked him. I really do. So he's, 
he, I mean, that's the Rottweiler in him, you know, that's a protectiveness in him and that's what he was bred for. So I understand that. I don't get mad at him. Um, it's hard to train that out of him. Um, he already has that. He had uh, food aggression as well. Um, he didn't have it at the beginning, um, because I was, I was training with him a lot and then I probably took like six months off of training, just fed him and, you know, walked away. Um, and then he got food aggression from that because I wasn't standing there petting him while he's eating. Um, so he got a food aggression for a good six months, whereas anytime he was eating, he growled anybody in the room. Um, so now he's better at that again. Um, and how I trained him out of that was every time he ate, he ate in my lap. And so I'd put a bowl in my lap and I'd pet him. Um, some of the things that, that, that Rocky likes to do, he does fetch, which is really odd for a Rottweiler to fetch um, from what I hear and what I've seen. But I have trained him from the beginning to have that instinct to, um, to chase um, because I wanted a dog to fetch. Because sometimes I'm working all day and I, can't, I just don't have enough time to go out and, and take him on a run or a walk. I just want to throw a ball a couple times. And, and so he does fetch. He's really good at it. And... Um, he likes, he likes to cuddle, but only on his terms. So he is, again, he's moody. That's his personality. He's just moody. Uh, not every Rottweiler is moody. I just happen to got a moody one. When he's tired, you need to leave him alone. Um, I have other videos of him growling at me um, in the tent and stuff. So he does get, he does get pretty moody. Um, but he's very uh, genuine. Uh, I don't know, I don't know the right word. He's very, um, he's very sweet. You know, and he cares, and if, like, I get hurt, and I go, ow, you know, he immediately um, would um, come over and and uh, see what's going on, or what's wrong, what's going on, you know, and he always checks on his family, it was me and the girls, he's always watching to make sure that everyone's around, and if we happen to separate, he kind of freaks out a little bit, he likes everyone all together, um, he's really into his pack, um, he's got some of my friends that he doesn't like too much, um, he's got other of my friends that he thinks is the best thing in the world, um, he loves Todd, and uh, my friend Corinne, too. Um, he really loves my friend Corinne. She also has two Rottweilers from the same breeder. And, um, and every once in a while, I'll, I'll, you know, we'll get all the dogs together. But uh, overall, he's a really good dog. And, you know, he, he, got, um, he got some issues with his knee. Um, I did cart him for a while, too, which had nothing to do with his issues with his knee. But I was doing other things with him, and I was doing different kinds of training. Um, but he got injured. And so he was out for like six months and then they thought he had hip dysplasia and, you know, then I could try to call the breeder and the breeder wouldn't call me back and he was kind of sketchy and I was just, I don't know, uh, what am I going to do if that dog has hip dysplasia? I'm not just going to give him away, you know, and, but I wanted the breeder to know. Um, so we eventually got um, x-rays and it turns out he actually has knee problems and he already has arthritis. Um, Rocky right now is about five years old. So I went and I grabbed my phone because there's a certain song that he likes to sing. Um, I'm a fan of Lord of the Rings and when I play Lord of the Rings he's also a fan. It's the only song that I, so far that I've seen him do this. So watch his reaction. And then he also does it in Q. Was that sad? Oh, <laughs> it's a sad song. Oh. And then um, if I howl, he'll howl as well. Rocky's kind of out of sorts. He's got a hurt paw. Um, I'll do another video and showing a lot of the other things that he can do. Um, oh, am I touching your paw? Look at him. Oh, touch my paw. Um, 
and uh, so I'll, I'll do some more videos later on, on Rocky and showing you some of the tricks that he does. Um, I've trained him pretty well. He's pretty well on, on uh, voice commands as well, and I swear to God he knows English. So um, give you an example. Yesterday we were walking along the road, and I can tell his foot was hurting. So I just looked at him, and I said, why don't you go ahead and go over to the tent, and I'll meet you at the tent later. And we were a pretty good distance from the tent. And he looked at me, and it's like he knew exactly what I was saying. He turned around, walked to the tent, and lay down. And I was gone for a good 30 minutes. I come back, he's laying there right at the tent waiting for me. So I think that I think he knows English. You know, he's with me all day long and while I'm working and stuff. And I talk to him. Um, but uh, but again, I'll I'll show some more videos when when he's not hurt. Um, of some of the stuff that he can do. Thank you for watching. Bye.